I want to dispel the nasty rumor that I have a security clearance. Don't hold that against me. <laughs> so, have you seen the latest numbers on Facebook? They are staggering. There are over 400 million active users of Facebook. Every day, they're going online to play games, they're going to connect with friends, they're sharing personal information on Facebook. Some of them are over-sharing their personal information on Facebook, but it's okay, because all that stuff stays on the internet. But, <laughs> have you ever wondered what would happen if some of that information followed you out into the real world, if when we met face-to-face, -face, we uh, got a little piece of one another's online lives? So, um, this, this is me. And now that you can see who I am on the internet, let me uh, introduce myself properly. My name is Eric Radman, and I'm an artist from Los Angeles. I'm, uh, I'm one of the co-founders of a group called Sin Labs in L.A. Uh, we're a tech art collective. Uh, that's the wrong direction. You, uh, you may have seen the recent uh, Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but we do more than Rube Goldberg machines. For, uh, for a couple years, we've been building large-scale public art that explores what it means for people to interact. Now, my background is in robotics and the semantic web, and so consequently, a lot of the projects I do draw from those domains. So, enough about me. Let's get back to the trash you've all been talking on the internet. So, I want to tell you about a project I've brought called the Cloud Mirror. It's outside in the hall. Now, if, if, you, if you haven't seen it, let me explain. It's a, it's a plasma screen with a camera attached, and you're seeing yourself in a mirror. But what you see is not yourself as you are in the real world, but I drag from the internet some irreverent piece of information about you. Maybe something from your Facebook, maybe something from Twitter, pictures you've taken on Flickr, Tumblr, anything. Now, you may be thinking this is a, this is a privacy nightmare, but it gets so much worse. Because, <laughs> because under the hood is a system I wrote called DirtDB, and DirtDB starts with your, 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 your Facebook profile, but it goes out and... You know, have you been in any movies? You know, are you on the Internet Sex Offender Registry database? <laughs> now, fortunately, this is an opt-in system, and these people have a sense of humor, humor, but the fact remains that you have to, like, enter your, your Facebook information or provide me with some, some basic biographical information about yourself. Now, this raises some interesting privacy uh, consequences, and it's been my pleasure to see how people react to the system. And the results are amazing because, you know, there's some people who will go nowhere near this system. And I understand and, and don't feel compelled to try it outside unless you are a little bit tempted. Uh, but, you know, many people will just jump right in. And people are proud of the information they put on Facebook. And, by the way, if you're clinging to any antiquated 20th century uh, standards of privacy, 14-year-olds, don't share those standards with you. I've seen them push one another out of the way. Uh, to get in front of the camera. And in, <laughs> in, the, in the 45 seconds I have remaining, I, I want to say that um, I've been fascinated by the dichotomy between our offline and our online lives. And uh, I'm, I'm proud to announce that I just uh, left my normal corporate job to pursue this kind of art full-time and pursue these kinds of projects. And I want to mention a project I'm working on called Versix. And Versix is a, an entertainment destination. We're actually building these facilities in malls and other public places. And you go there with your friends, and you, you engage in an adventure. And what we do is we, we take your, you know, we, we, we're, we're doing a spy game right now. We give you a camera, and you go out into the world, and you, you, you search for clues in the real world, but in a world that's overlaid in some sense with a computer-generated world that uses your social network as a seed. So... We're prototyping this down in Los Angeles, April 17th and 18th, and I encourage you to come down and please check it out. I'd like to leave you with the, the, the thought that the Internet is everywhere. It pervades this room. I know half of you are Twittering this right now. <laughs> it's time for those identities to jump off, jump out of the computer, and join us in the real world. Thank you. <laughs>